Hello everybody and happy autumn. I hope you're enjoying this turn of the season, although it's pouring down with rain yesterday. Can I just say a big thank you so much for your support and continuing to watch me and continuing to give me those thumbs up and commenting below. I really do appreciate the support, the love. Just check in, make sure you're subscribing to catch my videos. Hi and welcome, my name's Esther, this is My Money Matters. Just want to say a big congratulations to Gillian for winning the giveaway last week. Um, I did have somebody reach out who claimed to be um, this said person that won the prize all the way from Indonesia. I mean, who knew? And um, they said, look, don't bother sending the prize, just send me some PayPal. So uh, no, I didn't fall for that one. But just a warning of... Uh, to be aware of scammers that jump on the giveaway wagon okay so without further ado let's check in so I left you off here but then I why did I go out in the evening oh yes I went to collect something and then I realized that uh, places like our local TK Maxx and Home Bargains they're in the same area that they were still open late at night so I went shopping so I started Christmas shopping. <laughs> when the season turns, I'm like, oh, I get itching to like go shopping. So I did do some stocking filler stock shopping. I can't speak. And um, a bit of Christmas shopping. Um, I got something for my parents. So I don't think they watch my channel, but uh, <laughs> from TK Maxx. Wednesday was a no spend. Then Thursday, my in-laws were having their anniversary. My son's birthday was over the weekend. So I bought cake and flowers and chocolates and um, found some curries that I thought were reduced. Well, they were reduced. They were yellow label. But when I got home, I was like, actually, it wasn't much of a reduction. <laughs> but anyway, that was planned because it's going to be our wedding anniversary coming up. And I was... Um, we might be a bit squashed for time to try and fit something in. So I was like, oh, if we get some curries in. But anyway, that was that. Friday was a no spend. Then Saturday, oh, had a bit of a day of it on Saturday. My son had to, the speed cubing competition. Managed to get over to the venue, parked up. Realised I didn't bring my handbag with me. So I didn't even have my purse. Um, thankfully, I've just added my card on my phone. So I could manage to pay for the parking. And my sister-in-law was with me to lend me some money. So that was the first kind of ordeal. And then um, I was crocheting at the event and it just everything just seemed to go wrong and just I couldn't get things to go right. So that was frustrating. And I was just having like a bit of a day of it. Anyway, and then more stuff happened. I can't even remember what else. But it was like, well, oh yes, one thing after another. So then in the evening, um, came back. Um, my st They didn't have a stall there for my son to buy cubes so I let him do an online order with the money from the challenge oh yes lunchtime sorry backtrack backtrack lunch um we went to Greg's and I noticed on my app that I got a, a free sweet treat so I was like oh yeah I'll just grab a donut while I'm here and we got back to the venue because my son had hot wedges and I realized I was like oh have you got the donut I just assumed he'd had it and he's like no I was like oh no so I'd left my donut and I never did get my donut I don't think they even gave it to me so I put on Instagram well should I go back but it was tipping down with rain and there just wasn't a chance to go back so I missed out on my free donut so that was sad um, in the evening we had KFC, so I gave my husband a bit of contribution towards that because it's quite expensive and it's what my son wanted for his birthday. So we said, OK, that's fine. Um, I went to blow up his uh, helium balloon that I got from Amazon and I blew it up too much and bang, <laughs> pop, it went. And I was just like, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. I was just really sad. I was just like, oh, I've just having a really bad day, you know, when things keep going wrong. But... It just did make me realise also that we've got to count our blessings because good things came out of the day. Like I got chatting to a lovely lady that was knitting and um, I could talk to her about crochet stuff. So that was really lovely. And then somebody, um, I put out uh, an ask if anybody locally had a UV lamp for nails. And um, a friend of my husband's message and went, did you find a lamp? And I was like, no. He was like, oh, there's one in the charity shop. I was like, oh, great. So anyway, he bought that for me. So sorry if that was a long story about nothing that you didn't want to hear. Um, <laughs> Sunday, I bought a gift card. As I said, it's our anniversary coming up. So I bought a gift card for my husband. Um, yesterday, 
I bought a couple of t-shirts off Vinted and I just used my Vinted um, credit rather than spending money. So put £4.04 four came out of that. £5 sold something on Facebook for £5 side hustle money, so that will go in my tin. £1.50 bought this cute guy. Isn't he cute? Did you see him? My little bow lamp. He was £1.50 from the charity shop. I had to put batteries in it. But I think it's adorable. <laughs> So cute. So, so cute. Um, so that might take place of my candle that is a bit scary when I have that there. <laughs> Four pounds um, was, came out of a gift because I found a lovely Kath Kitson scarf for my sister-in-law. Um, in fact, I'll show you that now. I spotted it straight away that because of the print, I knew it was Kath Kitson. So I'm going to save that for a birthday prizzy. Okay. Um, let's, oh no, hold on, I've got more spends, why did I not tell you about those? Oh, I've not recorded some spends. Anyway, I bought myself some nails from, um, Superdrug, and these were buy one, get one half price, so I've gone for these cute daisy ones, can you see them? And the, um, tips. So these you, like, you, you cure under a lamp, like I've not used these before, a friend at work had them, so I'd really like to give those a go. So I treated myself and used my birthday money um, to buy those. So I don't know where I've gone wrong with my budget because I still have quite a lot left in my purse. And it's like, that doesn't make sense because I've been spending. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what I've done here. But I was like, do you know what? The more that I can go into challenges, the better. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds here. And let's just see what I've got in the coin section yeah see I shouldn't have this much money but I do <laughs> uh, I've got five pounds plus my some change here plus um, five pounds side hustle so let's get side hustle money popped in the tin I love putting money in this tin so the idea was any vintage money would go in here but like I said I did spend some I have got some more vintage money coming in, hopefully. I've been tracking my vintage uh, sales on here, which is really motivating. You can get this free from Kimberly Budgets as a free download. So go and contact Kimberly Budgets if you'd like one of these. Um, there is, it is a 30 item challenge. I'm thinking mm, I'm going to need to list some more stuff. But there we go. Right, where were we? Um, let's restuff the purse. It's going to be payday soon. I love it when it's payday, so I get to stuff my long and short-term sinking funds. So £55 is going back into the purse. We haven't had many five-week um, months, which has been really nice, actually, not to have to dip into that too much. So um, let's close this up. Put some money in. I am wondering about selling my Saffiano. Um, I've said it before, but if anyone's interested, let me know. Um, she's blue and it even comes with the pouch as well, which I'll probably throw in. So if you're interested, um, she's very good condition, maybe a little bit, ever so little bit grubby around the edges. But um, yeah, get in touch if you're interested. Let's get some challenges sorted. We're going to get the iris out. Oh, oh, we got a, we got a Charlie. Okay, let's save him. I do you like the Charlie notes? Fifteen pounds going into the iris. I kind of want to put more in here, but I, if I do that, I won't get a chance to do. Um, oh, where do we go? Let's go here. Finish this row. Um, if I do more in here, then the other challenges won't get done. So. Okay, it's all good. I mean, there's no rush really for this because this is going to go towards next year's budget. So, take my trusty post-it note out. There we go. Right, that's the iris done. Let's see what else we got in here. Got 
and 50 p's and a two pound very exciting got another 20p and a couple oh no a few more 20p's right 20p's are getting a little bit muddled on my paper but let's just see what we've got here so we've got one two three four 20p's i'm just going to dot them for now one two three four 20p's two one p's where's penny girl where are you get a hoist just to get her out <laughs> in they pop great stuff i think i might flip over to do the two p two p's two pounds i've not had a two pounds in absolutely ages who's hogging the two pounds let me know if you've had a two pounds um, there we go that's that one 50 p's two of these oh have we completed yeah nice oh that's exciting good right let's find the 50p bag so i've got to do this again in order to get it up to 10. so i might empty these so it doesn't get too heavy i'm gonna put it in my 50p pouch until i get some more Okay. Oh, I found some more. <laughs> I didn't realise they were hiding. That was exciting. <laughs> oh dear, the excitement. It's too much. Right. Let's go back and do that. And give that a waft to dry that off. Okay, let's flip back to the beginning, see what we got. Right, what am I left with? Okay, nice. Gonna tick off another 10 pounds. And this is going into the car challenge. Wafty, wafty that. Oh, that's quick. <laughs> Any pops. And then. We've got Rainbow Riches, Pig and Mix, Crochet Counters. So let's do Rainbow Riches. We'll put 10 in here, which completes the, the pot. And this is from Charles Cash Budgets, Budget, rather. Okay, pig and mix. I think I might stick in. Hmm. I'm thinking about a tenner, but then that'll be a lot of things coloured in. Might I'm going to put in a five, but colour in separate sweeties. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, here goes. I was getting carried away with that. I nearly coloured more in. So one, two, three, four, five sweets coloured in and that's going into Pick and Mix. And this was a collab with the lovely Nikki over at Cashback Cute. Okay, so I've got 10 pounds left to go into crochet counters. Right, I've got some money in here already, but I'd really like to do one of those temperature blankets next year. And I suddenly thought, hmm, I'm gonna need quite a bit of money to buy in the wall if I am going to do a temperature blanket. So, um, <clears throat> yes, I better start saving a bit more. Oh, I can colour in two because these are worth five each. So I thought I'd better start saving some more. I'm going to show you my current crochet projects that I'm working on. That wafty wafty. So I did start this Christmas blanket, but um, I've stumped across a bit that I just think I'm getting a bit stuck with it so I don't know what to do you know when things go wrong you want to just park it and not look at it <laughs> oh dear so um it's really quite tricky because I've not done this style of crochet before um and so you're creating like a Nordic star at this point but I've reached the middle of the star and I was like these aren't matching up all of a sudden so 
I've undone a couple of rows and I don't know if it, I'm going to have to undo some more. But it's a beautiful blanket when it's finished. But um, I've lost all motivation for it because you've got to count every stitch along the way. So it's a little bit tricky. So I don't know. The idea was if I worked on it now, it'd be ready for Christmas. But uh, who knows? I don't know. I'm going to have to have a lot of patience with this one. I can see it. <laughs> so I have started another blanket. Um, a work colleague is having their first baby and she knows that she's having a boy. And I've looked at the clothes and things that she's she's bought and I could see like there are lots of blues and beiges and stuff. So I'm joining um, these squares together. I've not finished it just yet. Um, I'm going to join, keep on joining the rest of the squares and I have made a little teddy which the blanket I saw had like lots of teddies dotted around I was like that's a lot of work so what I might do is I've made this little teddy here I might stick him down in the corner there to just add a little feature to the blanket so there we go I'm, I'm pleased with this how this is turning out and it's, it's really nice soft uh, yarn to work with We've got some coins to finish up with today. At last, I feel like I've not done this in ages. Did I take the money out of here? Yes. So I've taken some money out of here um, previously. So let's bring on the dice. Who are we going to use today? Let's do the little three, the three little dice, I think. Uh, let's chuck it across the table and see what we've got. A uh, two, a four, and a six. A so two is car, four is month ahead, and six is gifts. Two, four, and six. Very equal numbers. Two. Oh, what was four? Month ahead. Great. It's got a fiver in it. And six. Lovely stuff. It's nice to um, stuff this again. I feel like I've not done it in a few weeks. So that's the mini challenge done. We are done, folks. So, like I said, payday is coming up. And I um, hope to do my short and long-term sinking funds for that. So it's for me and the bow bun. <laughs> Goodbye for now. Take care and God bless you. And I'll catch you next time on My Money Matters. Bye for now. Is that try and jump on the giveaway bag baggon <laughs> but jump on the giveaway wagon okay <coughs>